This video was made possible by my wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for your continued support. Hello and welcome. Begin by getting yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. Settle down into the most comfortable position that's right for you, right now. And when you're all settled and relaxed, I want you to just let your eyes close and let my words wash over you like waves on a beach. And right now, you can begin to notice things. And you can notice noticing things. All you need to the do rhythm is of your own heart. The, of my voice. the easy, I'm gentle rise and fall of your chest that happens all by itself. And I want you to notice that part of your body right now. It feels the most relaxed. Just move your awareness to that body part that's most relaxed. And just allow that relaxation to spread, to move through every pore and fibre of your being. Or do Allow that relaxation to penetrate deep and deeper into every muscle in your body. Each word. And what you'll start to find is that as your body relaxes more and more, you'll find that your mind relaxes more and more. And so it creates this wonderful cycle of calmness, of stillness, of peace. From mind to body, from body to mind. Relaxing more and more with every breath out and with every word I say. And you don't need to pay attention consciously because your unconscious mind always pays attention to the words I say and the suggestions I make. And as you relax listening to my voice, taking on board my suggestions deep into your unconscious mind, it might just be the case that maybe you hear another version of my voice as well, making more suggestions that you go deeper, that you relax further, that you drop and sink and fall deeply into transforming. And that's good. Notice how the muscles around your eyes become loose and lengths and relaxed. It feels so wonderful to go in. Notice how the muscles in your neck and shoulders loosen becoming limp and relaxed. My words blow you down into and that's how your arms start to perhaps feel a little bit heavier and heavier with each passing second. And then the muscles in your back all you need to do is and limp and relaxed. My voice will soothe you guys. And when those muscles have relaxed, you might find that it's very easy for the relaxation to spread. Down your chest, and abdomen, over your tummy. And all of those muscles just become loose and limp. And they relax even more. And naturally that relaxation can spread down over your thighs and quads. No need to say. Over your backside. All the way down to your knees. Relaxing more and more with each breath I out and with every word I say. Each word, and as you become more attuned to the sound of my voice, you find that it too just helps you sink drop deeper and further than ever before. And so that relaxation moves down over your knees, over your calves and shins, and those muscles relax, becoming more loose, becoming more limp. It feels so good to be mine, just an empty body. And sure enough, before you know it. The relaxation spreads down over your heels and soles and arches of your feet all the way to the very tips of your toes so that any kind of stress, tension or anxiety is just immediately expelled and pushed out of your body almost like another body can feel it. That's right. Emptiness is And you know, hypnosis and trance is something that we never actually see whilst in it. And yet it's always there, always available to you. So maybe it's more akin to something like a gas or a vapor. 
just like, I don't know, maybe like lost in our eyes a lot. They're always there, always present, always within you, but not always visible on the surface. So if hypnosis or trance was kind of like a gas or a vapor, then that means you could always have it there available to just breathe it in. Can you imagine that right now if you were breathing in trance? If you were breathing in trance right now, you'd feel yourself going deeper with each breath in. And then relaxing more with each breath out. All you need to do is like a weird intoxication of trance. Generated by yourself and experienced by yourself right now. Allow yourself to become absorbed and fascinated with the trance that you're starting to experience right now. And as you sink deeper into it, the more absorbed you become, the more fascinated you become. The deeper you go and the deeper you go, the more you want to be absorbed and fascinated in the trance that you're in. Right this need to say. And it feels good to know that you don't have to say or think or do anything other than just let my words wash over you. Pay attention consciously or unconsciously. And just allow this trance to take you where you want it to go. In the here and the now. In the present. Enjoying the sensations you're feeling right now. And it might be that listening to my voice, if you've done it before, especially. Well, you'll find that there's a certain place you go to with me. A certain role that you assume. A certain position that's just right for you. And you naturally and easily go to this place when you listen to my voice and when you listen to my files. And you allow my words to sink deeper and deeper into your unconscious mind. And if at any point you need to come out of trance, you can come out of trance easily and instantly alert and wide awake. But for now, you can just relax easy and be good for me and obey the suggestions I give you. And right now you're in that role that allows you to enjoy this experience to the extent that the words I say you will experience, you will experience. The words I say you will feel, you will feel. The words I say you will hear, you will hear. And if you consent to that, I'd like you to just nod your head in agreement. My words alone Very good. Into I want you to picture a movie screen in your mind. Picture sitting in a theater, watching a movie screen, and on that movie screen, you can see yourself over a dominant knee. And maybe this dominant is someone that you're involved with. Maybe it's somebody you'd like to play with again, or maybe it's a fantasy figure. Or maybe it's somebody that you've listened to. And you can see yourself over that dominance lap. Perhaps there's a look on your face of nervous apprehension. Maybe it's for a disciplinary reason. Maybe it's for just maintenance. Or maybe it's because you just really get turned on and aroused by the idea of being spanked over somebody's knee. Now, I don't know if you know, but your mind and body have an amazing talent to remember sensations. And because of this talent, they have the capacity to re-experience any sensation that you previously had. That's right, every kiss, every sensuous touch, Every emotion and response is stored in your mind and it's always available to be re-experienced at any time that your mind wishes to do so. At this moment, I'd like you to remember a time when you were the subject of an erotic, disciplinary or maintenance spanking. That's it. Remember just how that felt on your body. Recall where you felt the impact, how the impact affected you, how you became turned on being spanked in that way, just like that. Recall a really hard spank, 
recall exactly how it felt, and now allow your mind to feel that spank all over again, now. Very good. Now you see that your mind can replicate that sensation of a beautifully erotic, arousing and thrilling smack. And it has the ability to reproduce this spanking sensation over and over each and every time you hear this sound. You will find that each spank is more intense, more thrilling, more arousing than the one before. Each and every spank makes you cry out in pain or pleasure or both. Each successive spank feels even stronger, more pleasurable, arousing and more intense than the one before, which means that each spank allows your mind to sink even deeper into transforming, all the better to amplify your pleasure. And you can feel yourself being held in place by strong hands, as each spank is even more intense, more arousing, more sensuous and more vigorous than the previous spank. You may find that each spank makes you gasp, makes you moan, makes you whimper and cry out in pleasure and arousal and pain. Those strong hands spanking you, putting you in your place and you understand and accept your role, submissive, obedient, Maybe you try and wiggle and wriggle your way out of it. But each spank just happens where it's supposed to happen, when it's supposed to happen. Each one increasing your arousal and reaffirming your submission, taking you deeper and deeper. That's right. And perhaps for a few spanks, the dominant will place the impact on the same spot for a couple of swipes in a row. And sometimes they vary it from cheek to cheek with each spank. And you can feel the dominant fingers tracing over your ass from cheek to cheek. Down maybe along the back of your legs and slowly, ever so slowly, Slides those fingers up the back of your legs like a delightfully soft prelude to even harsher things to come. And it might be that those fingers just linger in that one very sensitive spot, feeling the anticipation form into tingles and pulses and throbs. And maybe you feel that dominant start to grip your ass even harder. And part of you knows exactly what's going to happen next. And part of you just wants it to be over and part of you just wants it to not happen. And yet here you are. You can feel the impact as the spanks start all over again. And each spank takes you deeper and deeper into trance and brings you even more pleasure with every spank. And you will find that each spank makes you gasp, makes you moan, makes you cry out and whimper with pleasure, arousal, and pain, perhaps even embarrassment and humiliation. Because imagine if your co-workers and friends could see what was happening to you right now. Each spank is more intense, more arousing, more sensuous, and even more vigorous than the previous spank. And you can feel that hand smacking down on your ass harder and harder with every spank. And for a second it stops and you think that's it. But before you think another thought, you feel that hand strike your ass again. And as you try to focus, you get spanked again and again and again and again. And it just keeps going. Firmly putting you in your place. 
sublimating and accepting your role as the submissive. Enjoying that mixture of pleasure and pain, pain and pleasure. You can feel that stinging sensation with every strike, with every spike. And it resonates through your entire being. Being spiked over and over and over again. And you can feel your bottom getting warmer and warmer. And perhaps your face starts to flush. In ways that might be humiliating or embarrassing. A part of you loves the fact that a dominant cares enough to make sure that you are put at your place over the knee with a good, firm spike. And we know that, you know that, pleasure and pain can merge together. And your unconscious mind easily understands this connection so that pain can lead very easily to pleasure. And pleasure can lead very easily to pain. Which means that while spanking can be painful, it also serves to arouse you. And each spank increases that arousal. Every time you feel that hand, you hear that certain sound. The sensation of pain in your ass moves and transforms into a certain pleasurable thing. You can feel that pulse in all of your erogenous zones. You might feel your nipples stiffen. And you become more and more aware. They become more and more sensitive. More and more aroused. And you can feel the reddening of your ass on each cheek. As each spank makes it redder and redder. Maybe you can imagine or think or see and even feel yourself beginning to beg and plead for it to stop. Which in turn, that just serves maybe to arouse you even more, take you even deeper. Because this is what you deserve. This is what you need. Because this is what turns you on. Being submissive for me and being put in your place by a forceful dominant. And those spanks continue to get harder and harder, more stinging, more painful, which only increases your arousal and pleasure. It intensifies the nerve endings that are tingling and throbbing with pleasure. So the pain is pleasure and pleasure is pain. And obedience is pleasure and pleasure is obedience. And they mingle and merge and it becomes so hard to differentiate twitch the two that Pain and pleasure has become one. They coalesce and each spank gets harder than the last. Turns you on more than the last. And you might want to struggle against the hands that are keeping you in place. You might promise to be good, promise that you'll do better in the future, and promise to behave. It could be maybe you swear to adhere to some rules and make that dominant pride of your behavior. Will you be good? Because you can feel those sensations in this very moment on your ass. Your cheeks becoming more and more sore from the spanking, more sensitive with each heavy strike, pulsing, throbbing, tingling, singing. And just when you think you can't take any more, the spanking stops. And you feel that dominance hand lightly trace fingertips over your buttocks, along your back, your neck, and maybe they stroke your hair. And perhaps you hear soothing whispered words in your ear, telling you that you've done very well. And so right now you can just take a moment and enjoy the pleasure and sensation that you feel. You can bask and radiate in the warmth of that smacking. And in a few moments, I'm going to count from one up to five. When I reach five, you're going to open your eyes, 
feeling wonderfully calm and relaxed, and your body returning to its natural and healthy state, and you'll be freed of any suggestions that aren't appropriate for you right now. One, starting to feel more alert, coming together. Two, your mind becoming more active. Three, you may want to stretch, yawn. Four, feeling so good, maybe a little grin on your face, you might want to stretch your toes and wiggle your fingers. And five, eyes open, feeling calm and refreshed. And if you enjoyed this file, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel.